Hello, this is Eric with Geo Creations. I'm here to talk about the comic page template we use at Letterati Press. These templates are available on our server. It's important that we use consistent templates to help with ubiquitousness in the print shop. This helps prevent errors and it makes things run a lot smoother. There are two files here. One, Comic Page Template US Modern Standard 450 and Comic Page Template US Modern Standard 600. The 450 and the 600 in the file names is there to indicate the dots per inch in each file. The first thing I want to talk about are the dimensions and resolution standards for these documents. As mentioned before, they're about 11 inches by 17 inches at a 450 dots per inch resolution. This is really good. And even though this is a smaller file, it's actually pretty big. That way, in case there are issues with resolution or cropping, the print shop will have plenty of bleed and art to work with. Next, I'm going to take a look at the layers. While there are about eight layers on this document, I think it's safe to say the most important one for artists to understand is the guides layer, as indicated in the wiggling there at the top. I'm going to explain some of these uh, descriptions on the guides layer. The first I'm going to explain is the bleed. The bleed, as indicated right here, is really important for the print shop. This blue line is called the crop or trim line. This is where the knife actually cuts the paper when compiling the book. However, if you have a texture or art running up to or beyond the crop line, it's really important that you have art go into the bleed. That way, in case the knife of the cutter gets off registration a little bit, you won't have a white strip of paper showing through, making your art page looking less professional. The next two things I want to talk about are the safe areas. I made a couple of safe areas with uh, dotted blue lines here and right here. These are the suggested areas to put your art or panels and borders. I like to work inside the safe area, that way I have plenty of room for my art and the gussets seem to be a little more free. But if you stay within here, you should have plenty of room without getting too close to the crop area. The next thing I want to talk about are these green demarcations. These marks are to help the artist lay out their panels in even formatting. There's a quarter inch mark here and here. There is a one-third mark for one-third the width and a halfway mark for half the width of the paper. By using a ruler or a guide and connecting those lines, you're able to more easily lay out your panels. I put these same demarcations on the sides of the paper to help you with the vertical axis as well. Whenever you are done with your art, do not submit the guides layer on your final piece. This is just here for the artist, not for the print shop. So you may delete it, turn it off, or flatten the image with the guides turned off. That way, when you give your art to the print shop, it's ready to go. I would oftentimes try to play it super safe and have a lot of layers on my final art. But at the print shop, they don't want to have gigantic files. So my suggestion to you is duplicate your document in Procreate or Photoshop or whatever your drawing software is. And then I would also suggest, suggest flattening the file. This helps make things a lot smaller and simpler to submit to the server. Thank you for your time.